Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to create a super quick airliner. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so we're going to build a jet airliner. So, I'm going to put jet airliner, and then I'm going to put my initials after it. Now, for this one, I want you to all have the same measurements as me because we're going to label this plane so we learn the parts better. So, when you bring in a sphere, I want you to click on the side and I want you to make its length 150. I want you to make its height, and it's easier to see that from a corner, 30. Then I'll put it back in the middle, and I want the width to be 24. This way we're all gonna have a same consistent design, and it's gonna look a little bit like an airliner. It won't be perfect, but it's gonna be great for labeling our parts. The next part we're going to create is the horizontal stabilizer. Now you'll note I'm using these words because I want us to know what they are. I want you to make this one 60 and I need this to be 6 thick so it's quite thin. We want these to be aligned so we're going to select the two of them, click align, make the fuselage the master and we want it in the middle and we want it in the middle. So now we've got a fuselage and we've got a horizontal stabilizer. Let's make the horizontal stabilizer its own color. Real quickly, let's use the cone to make our vertical stabilizer. Click its top radius and make it five. And when you press enter, we need to change the thickness along the front of it to five. So now it looks like a vertical stabilizer. Let's select these two items and click align once again, we want the blue piece to be the master. We want this one centered. We want it to the back. And then to raise it up, you can just do control up, or you can grab, or you can use the cone to lift it to the perfect height. If you zoom in, you'll be able to see better if it's really mounted the way you want it. I'm gonna do control down so that it's sitting inside those parts, and I like that it's a different color. I am gonna make it a little taller so that it looks perfect on my airliner. The next part is to create our wing, and we're gonna do that with a fancy shape under Featured. This is called an extrusion. When you bring this out, I'm gonna hit Fit View so I can get close to the extrusion, and I've got this shape beside me that I'm gonna pull a little bit to the right. I'm gonna stretch these out a little bit so that it's more round. I'm gonna squeeze these in so that it's tighter at this end. When I pull this back, check it out, we are making an airfoil like we learned about the other day in our flight and space curriculum. Get yours close to that shape. You can twist and adjust. You can use any of the kinds of airfoils that you want. If we look at this from a corner, that would be a high camber one with a thin wing section. If you bring it down, now it's a high camber. If we bring the airfoil down here a little bit, that would be a low camber. And then we could also make one that was a symmetrical camber. So you get to make whichever one that you prefer. This is a great time to check out the four different cambers that we are playing with. We have the low, the high camber with a thick wing, the symmetrical, and the thin. Remember, each one of them has different characteristics that affect the lift and drag and the speed and stability of your aircraft. When you've got your wing chosen, I need you to zoom out, rotate it 90 degrees so that it's aimed this way, and then rotate it 90 degrees this way. Sometimes it's easier to click and just type that number that is exactly the way I want. If it had flipped over, I would just hit undo and push it the other way. We all need to have this as 150 wide. And then no matter what number you did have here, I want you to change it to 30. Select those two pieces again, choose a line, make the fuselage the master, set it to the middle, set it to the middle. And then you can use the arrow keys to nudge it a little bit further. And I'm also going to use the handle to lift it up to where I want my wing to be. And I'll let you pick that. I am going to also choose to make my wing a little thinner. That's a choice you can make so that it looks the way you want on your aircraft. Friends, the next step is to do our control surfaces, but to do that we need a place to put them. Bring out one of these boxes. Do not stretch anything but the height. Make it so high that it's for sure going to run into our wing. Grab those two pieces by selecting them, do a line, make the wing the master, bring it to the edge, and then look 
all the way over to this side and we want to use that corner. You'll know it's right because it lines up right on the edge of it. Switch your grid to five millimeters and use your arrow keys to nudge it. If you nudge the wrong way, just nudge it back and use the other arrows. We want a total of two clicks, which is 10 millimeters. We want to put that same thing on the other side, so click duplicate. Use your arrow keys to move it over. Once you get it on the other side, you can select the two of them. Notice that it says two shapes, do a line. Once again, we want it on that corner. And then use your arrow keys to nudge it back. Remember, if you nudge the wrong way, just use the opposite arrow and then bring it so that it is 10 millimeters on each side. Hide your fuselage quick. And let's grab those three parts and group them. Let's bring everything back and let's draw an aileron. We're going to put our aileron right here and we're going to hit work plane. We're going to switch our grid back to size one millimeter. And then we're going to go to a special place called featured. On the featured, we're going to bring an extrusion and we're going to set it right on that area. Notice it fits. That was part of my plan. And then our aileron has to look like this. Stretch it out, make it skinny stretch it out and then bring it up so that your aileron is sort of symmetrical that is all it takes to make an aileron if you want to try and be perfect you can bring it in so it fits i am going to just squeeze it with these handles so that it fits just the way i want notice i'm using the black handles not the white handles that way it goes in one direction at a time when I set it down, we have just made an awesome aileron. And I've got a fantastic way to get it to the other side. Hit duplicate so that you've got two of them. So select, duplicate, hit work plane, click that flat edge where you want it to land, press the letter D and it'll drop exactly to that other side. You have just made your first two control surfaces. We're going to repeat that process in the back. Once again, set your work plane down. Return to the basic shapes. Bring out that box. Make it plenty tall so that it'll run into the spot. Grab those two pieces. Do a line. Make the orange one the master. And then click on that edge and move it to the front. We do not want to cut the whole thing. So once again, switch to your 5mm grid. Make sure you click somewhere else and then click just on the hole. And we want to move it in one, and we want to move it back two. And then once again, we will do duplicate, which is control D. And you can just nudge to the other side. Notice it's perfect math. So four nudges and boom, it was good to go. Let's make it easier to group those by clicking hide and clicking hide. And then grabbing those parts and grouping them. We can hit show all. Put our work plane on that edge again. Switch back to those sweet featured shapes. Change our grid to one. Bring out the extrusion. Drop it in that spot. And then once again, we are just making an airfoil. So make it skinny on one end by using these little handles. And then shrink it so it fits in your shape using the black handles. It still fits the size 20 because that's how big it is naturally. And then the same trick, we're going to put the work plane on the other side. Duplicate. And then press the letter D to drop it in. And now you've got your elevators added to your aircraft. Let's set the work plane back to the ground. And let's return to basic shapes. Bring out that whole box again. This one, we're just going to lift up so that it's cutting out a portion of our vertical stabilizer. Notice I'm shrinking it so that it fits inside. I've got my one millimeter nudge. I'm going to back it up so it's about half. And then I'm going to grab and select those two shapes. Make sure you don't get the orange. You can make sure it's easier to do that by looking at it from the right. That way you only get the two you want and hit group. We're going to put the work plane right on this edge. We're going to return to the featured shapes, grab that sweet extrusion, drop it right on that part, 
this one is kind of interesting. If we stretch it this way, notice it's going to the side. So I'm going to build this just the opposite. I'm going to make this end down here the point. Notice when I squeeze it, that looks like the point I want. I'm going to turn on something called snap. This makes them move to the little grid marks, and it may make it a little more easy to make the perfect one that you want. Once you've got it the way you want, use the black handles to squeeze it into the space. Shrink it down with that white handle. And just like that, you have made the rudder for your airplane. To make sure it lines up perfect, I'm going to do the shift click. So I'm clicking the purple, shift clicking the gray, choosing a line for those two shapes, telling it the purple is the master, and clicking that middle button. Looks like I can nudge it in one and then set my work plane back to the ground. All right, friends, so real quick, we've got a jet airliner with ailerons, elevators, and a rudder. And for this project, that is all I want you to do. Click on it, find a cool angle, zoom so it looks pretty sweet, and click send to and get me a screenshot of your design. Do not worry about making this one any fancier. I just need it done. Remember, mine I always save to the download. Yours probably does that already, and you can turn that in to Google Classroom. If you've got extra minutes, you can close it, go back to Tinkercad, and then click on the gear and duplicate your project. This one you can play with and have as much fun as you want. The other one I want you to leave it just like you had it because we'll use it in a future project. Alrighty friends, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.